There's a boy I know He's the one I dream of Looks into my eyes Takes me to the clouds above Oh, I lose control Can't seem to get enough When I wake from dreaming Tell me, is it really love? How will I know if he really loves me? I say a prayer with every heartbeat I fall in love whenever we meet I'm asking you what you know about these things How will I know if he's thinking of me I try to phone but I'm too shy I can't speak Falling in love is all bittersweet This love is strong, why do I feel weak? Oh Awake oh, me I'm shaking I wish I had you near me now I said there's no mistaking what I feel is really love how will I know How will I know? How will I know? How will I know if he really loves me? Yeah. I'd say a prayer with every heartbeat. I fall in love whenever we meet. I'm asking you what you know about these things how will i know if he's thinking of me i try to phone but i'm too shy i can't speak falling in love is all bittersweet this love is strong why do i feel weak Hey Skatcher fam, thank you so much for tuning in this week and listening to my cover of How Will I Know by Whitney Houston. Um, kind of the adapted <laughs> Sam Smith version of it as well. I know some of you might be thinking why I'm singing Whitney Houston twice in a row. You know, I did Greatest Love of All last week and uploaded it and I noticed a number of different comments about how maybe it wasn't my best um, vocal cover and how maybe I wasn't up to the song, I wasn't maybe as skilled as Whitney was, which I don't think anyone really, really is. May you rest in peace, Whitney. Um, and, you know, I had a couple maybe not so productive comments about, you know, the fact that my pronunciation is too white to be singing Whitney Houston. Well, spoiler alert, I am white. But I'm not making this video as a, a way of being hurt by the comments and trying to be like, be positive, be nice to me, only say how well I do. I mean, it's it's not really about that for me. I, I respond to positive and constructive criticism whenever I can, um, but for me it was more of wanting to make this a bit of a teachable moment for myself and for anyone else who might be, you know, human and dealing with the same kind of vulnerabilities and insecurities. Um, around this time last year I had made a promise to myself um, to upload regularly to YouTube and to really um, try and push myself 
out of my comfort zone because for those of you who don't know me, I was someone who was singing nothing but Michael Bublé songs that were well within my wheelhouse and comfort range um, for a long time in my musical journey. Um, and it was only really last year or the year before that I started to branch out into other artists and really pushing myself to my limit to see what I can do and where I can go with my voice. Um, things that I never thought I could do because I never tried them. And so when I saw comments like I did last week about just not being good enough to sing uh, Whitney Houston or The Greatest Love of All or maybe some of these big diva ballads that I really love singing, it almost made me wonder, am I out of my league here? Should I be dumbing it back down and playing it a little bit safer so that I can really crush out these vocals um, a little more easily and flawlessly. But then I realized that I guess I just wanted to show you guys that there is a human side to me and I wanted to convey to myself and to you uh, that may be watching that real growth comes from pushing yourself and making yourself uncomfortable and that music for me is about that growth and being unapologetic about pushing yourself and what you may or may not be capable of um, and music doesn't always have to be perfect for me. So I guess that's kind of why I wanted to do Whitney a second week in a row. I, uh, I just want to push myself out of my comfort zone and um, if you want to, you know, stick with me um, on that journey then I absolutely would love for you to join the Skatcha family if you haven't already. I want to say thank you for all the love and support and thank you so much for the constructive criticism as well. And uh, thank you guys for letting me be unapologetically me. I hope you will like, comment, share, and hit that subscribe button. I upload new videos every week and I cannot wait to see you guys next week. You guys are fantastic. You guys are a family of mine in your own right. So thank you guys for tuning in and um, it really means a lot to me, your continued love and support. Thank you. I'll see you guys next week. Bye.